Hey y'all, I'm just out here on the front porch reading my Bible and you know, I woke up this morning and I felt like a failure. Just reminded of all the times I've let people down, let myself down, let my family down, um, let God down. And you know, that why I'm having this pity party out here, just open up the Word of God and I was reading in Hebrews 11, the chapter of faith. And uh, it talks about the ones that made such an impact in the world. It talks about through their faith they subdued kingdoms, they quenched the fires, they um, women had their dead raised. Um, it goes on to say they were mocked and they were scourged, they were imprisoned, they were sawn asunder, um, they walked around destitute, afflicted, and tormented. They lived in caves. But then it says in verse 38 of whom the world was not worthy. That's powerful, because I'm sure why they went through all them tribulations, all them trials, all them failures, they felt like failures. They felt like by man's standards, they didn't have anything. But by God's standards, the world was not worthy of them. Why is that? Because in the next chapter, it goes on to say, Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. See, God doesn't look at you and me as a failure. God looks at, us, looks at us as conquerors. Even when we fail in this life, even when we fail according to man's standards, God is working all things out for our good and his glory through us. You are special to God. You are loved by God. And when he sees you, he sees his child if you are born again. And you are not a failure. You are a work in progress. And one day when you leave this place, you're going to stand in his glory. And you're going to be like Christ because you'll see him as he is. And you'll see everything that happened in your life. And you understand that God was in every part of your life. Even when you were lost, God was working through your life because he had a plan for you. And when you came to the knowledge of the truth and received Christ by believing on Jesus and being born again, he died on the cross, he shed his blood, he rose again the third day. You received that. Nothing can separate you from his love. Nothing can take that away from you. Nothing can stop God from working through your life and making you who he wants you to be. You can't even stop him because you're not in control. Jesus is the author. He writes it and he's the finisher. He closes the chapter of your faith. Let the words of our mouth, the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in his sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer in Jesus' name. Amen.